Hello everyone, and welcome to this episode of The Coding Cube. Today we have a special guest with Balaji M. Hello everyone, I am Balaji Murugeshan, product owner of Bold Reports from Syncfusion. In this episode, we are going to discuss about 5 quick tips to design your report faster. Alright, sounds great, let's get on into it. Consider the scenario. We have uh, multiple elements in our designer surface, like chart, image, and a couple of rectangles. In this case, uh, there are chances to intersect each other. So uh, our objective is to align that elements without disturbing each other. For example, uh, consider this chart. We need to bring the element out of all other element means we can use this option, bring front. This will move your uh, chart element to the front layer. Uh, in reverse, you can send the same chart to the back, backward, that is the last layer. So all other elements placed above this chart. You can do the same step one by one using this uh, bring forward and backward like your video player controls. If I click this one means this will place above you the image. If I click again means the next place above that first rectangle. I repeat it means this is in first layer. If I do that same for backward means it will move one step backward. Again, it will move one step backward. This is the last layer we are doing. This is an ordering feature in a report designer. The next tip is alignment. Consider the example. Uh, we have a widget. We need to align the widget exactly centered to the screen means we have an options. We can align in a both vertical and horizontal. Let's see one by one. Select the widget. After that, we have an option uh, center horizontally. And I, uh, when you click it, it will move the widget exactly centered in the horizontal position. You can do this for vertical also. This will be a vertical center to the design surface. Uh, like in uh, horizontal center, we have other alignment properties like left align, right align, center, and the top align, bottom align, and middle. These are the properties we have. Um, we can see one by one. Consider we have three widgets in our design surface. We need to align all the widget in a left means select all the widgets. Click on this uh, left alignment property. This will move the remaining elements to the left least position. That means in this three widget, this has a left uh, least margin. So uh, the remaining widget align uh, based on this widget. This is similar we can do for right alignment. In this case, this uh, these two element aligned here. Uh, when come to a center portion, this will align to the center based on this left and the right. It will calculate the center point and align these uh, widgets. So this is a center. It is not on designer surface centers. It is uh, least left and the max right, the element are aligned. Um, it is similar to that uh, left alignment. We can align that in a top. It align least to a top element, the remaining widget will align. We can do the same action for a bottom align. It will do for a maximum top. In a vertical, we can do uh, apply this one middle. This will align from a list top to match top. It will align your uh, widgets. This is an alignment property we have in our designer component. Next step is distribution. Consider this example. We need to have a proper alignment, proper spacing between each element. That is one of the design aspect. So if you want to do that means we have no properties for these options also. I have placed uh, three elements. This is uniformly not distributed right now. So for example, I have a least space and I have more space in the right side. If I want to give proper spacing means select all these three and give this one. So the space are equal. The widgets are distributed equally in that available space. So we can do that uh, in a vertical also. Select this one, I give a least spacing and give more space to this one. I selecting everything and click this and distribute vertically. This will have a proper spacing. This is a distribution options we have in a designer. 
like distribution we should maintain the sizing each widget uh, should have a no maximum um, proper sizing across the single data report so we have an no option for that also consider this example we have a different width this has a more width this one is a lesser this one is uh, bigger than this one so you want to apply the same width across these three, three widget means you can do this we have an no option same width we can apply this so this will uh, uniformly give a width so you do the same action for your height also i am going to adjust these three widgets to this one. so if i uh, select all three and apply the widget height means this will uh, height is uniformly applied you can combine these two action adjusting height and width in two single action i selected all these three and applied that same width it will apply height and width uniformly so it is uniformly applied the last tip for today episode is grid lines uh, grid lines will help us to decide the uh, alignment as well as sizing you can turn on and turn off the grid lines by choosing this option in a view this is already turned on you can turn off you can turn on again you want so you want to align your widget against the grid lines means you can choose it i have this one we have an option called uh, align to uh, grid lines if i click means the widget align to the nearest grid lines if you want to give the size proper sizing based on a grid lines means you can do the same click on this one size to grid line this will give the size of proper sizing based on a grid line available nearest grid line uh, that's all i have today carter thank you all right. thank you and thank you all for joining us as well if you'd like to learn more about bold reports you can find blogs documentation and release history all in a resources tab and our website also if you'd like to get in contact with us you can find us at support at boldreports.com thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time Thank you.